today we are going to the dentist in Mexico. Ah! <laughs> I hate the dentist. <laughs> I, it's one of those things I just like look forward to the least ever. <laughs> in life. <laughs> in life, which is why I haven't actually been in like three years. It's been a while. <laughs> A lot cheaper than it is in Canada. Sarah's tooth had been done incorrectly. Okay, let's see that smile one more time. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> While Mexico is one of the top destinations to get a healthy dose of sunshine, it's also one of the top destinations to get some medical work done. That's right, we're Eric and Sarah, and we've been in Playa del Carmen now for almost a full month. So if you wanna see more of this area, then check out our other videos, and let's get going. Now, when I had decided that I wanted to go to the dentist in Mexico, I basically had three big questions. Is it safe? How much is it actually gonna cost? And are they gonna scam me with costs or some extra things that I didn't even ask for? Let's start off with a cleaning and see what happens. Hola. Good, how are you? So we weren't really sure what dentist to really go for in Playa del Carmen, but we saw that this dental office had really good reviews. This is Well in Dental, and immediately Rebecca and Dr. Anibel have been super, super nice. So thank you for that. And so yeah, I'm going first, and let's see what happens. In 2021, like February, like almost three years ago. <laughs> okay. actually watch someone else get their teeth cleaned and now I totally understand the dentist's desire to just always talk to their patients when you're in the chair. You know when you go to the dentist and you're like, your mouth is just full of all these tools and the dentist is asking you all these nice questions about how you're doing and how it feels and stuff that you can never answer. I'm just like, keep feeling like I need to ask Eric, how's it going? How's it feel? Does it feel better? And he's just like, oh, and I'm like, oh, I get it now. <laughs> Would you say this is the best cleaning you've had in three years? Yeah, in three years, yeah. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. I mean, you done the fun a little bit here. Okay. The front and the back. It's yeah. pretty common that the more cat food gets stuck in there. Okay. Or the tooth is never as great as the one on the top. Right. I recommend it to patients after the cleaning. Yeah. Not to use any toothpaste for one or two days. One or two days, okay. But why is this? Because the toothpaste is like a soap and you taste the flavor and you think it's clean. Yeah. But most, most part of the time you're like uh, neglecting some important areas. Okay. So if you do without the toothpaste, you're gonna feel it with your tongue when it's clean and when it's not, so you can improve your technique. Oh, like cool, okay. That, that area. Okay, that's actually really good. I, I've never heard that before. So. Feels good. Do I look nice and clean? Oh, yeah, look at those. Oh, that's Sweet. so close. <laughs> it's way too close. Your turn. I don't know. I'm I'm concerned about what he's going to say. I feel like my teeth are sore a lot, and I'm under the impression that if you just floss them extra and brush them, the cavities just go away. So I have one side that's hurt for like a couple of years, but I always just like brush it, and then I'm like, oh, yay, it's gone. Well, I'm sure but, he can help you with that. Yeah, he we'll is a see. dentist, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I feel like the second I walked in here, my concerns about safety kind of just went completely out the window. This place is immaculate, a very, very nice location, and the doctor is extremely professional. I feel like the concerns of safety, I feel like if you walk into a place, you really kind of get that vibe pretty much instantaneously. If it seems like this is going to be a bit of a hack job, you'll know, <laughs> basically. And this is definitely not the case here. My experience was very professional. He was even like more thorough, I would say, than my dentist back home. And he had a lot more advice for me rather than scolding. I feel like that's the thing, that back home, I, almost every time I've been to the dentist, they're like, you haven't been flossing for your whole life, which is true. But he basically just says like, you know what, hey, why don't you try this out? And he was not mean about it whatsoever. You're going back down. <laughs> You're going back down in the chair. <laughs> this is classic though. You always have good teeth. Me? Yeah. 
I feel like you'd never have fillings and I always have fillings. I don't know, one time I went to the dentist and I got 16 <laughs> cavities. Well, that's said. a scam. I think they scammed me. <laughs> Yeah, that's a that scam. Someone good. has to pay for their car. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, how often do you recommend going to get your teeth cleaned here? Uh, not, not actually the cleaning, but at least a consultation every yeah. six to eight months, just that's to check months. up that everything is okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I used to work in the states. I yeah. work in there for a oh, season. Really? Yeah. And every patient that come in there, they get like a full X-ray. Yeah. Uh, it's not always necessary. Yeah. Sometimes it is, but it's not at least. Yeah, uh, and I feel like at home, like you've been asking me where it hurts and like actually asking for opinion. I feel like at home they just X-ray you no matter what, and even when my teeth feel perfectly. They're like, oh, you have 12 things you should do. And I'm like, none of them hurt. And like, it depends on the, like, the, depends on the gravity of the situation. Yeah, but, uh, but I feel like sometimes I'm like, are you just making this up so I get the whole done? Mm -hmm. And at home too, I feel like if you have, if the dentist knows that your work has like dental coverage, mm -hmm. insurance, they, yeah. insurance, they always add other things on too. Because then when I, when I started not having insurance with my job, then they would never like say yeah. anything extra. And I was like, like yeah. <laughs> so how much is it for the two cleanings? 800 per. 800 per? Wow. That's a lot cheaper than it is in Canada. I think it's like $200 to do that in Canada. <laughs> Just for a cleaning. So far, this whole process has been very similar to what we've experienced with dentists back home. I would also say that this dentist is like extremely professional. Yeah, and I would say one difference from at home is he seemed a lot more willing to explain things yeah. to us, especially yeah. to me, rather than just being like, oh, here's your x-ray, blah, 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 blah. You need yeah. all this stuff. So he really explained the purpose behind it, also how long I had to do these things before yeah. it became an emergency. Like he really went through the whole process, Absolutely. which was really nice, but yeah. We thought this was gonna be the end of the video, but turns out your girl needs some more work. I honestly thought that I was gonna be the issue, but it turns <laughs> I'm not surprised out, at all. <laughs> yeah, you have a few more things that need to get done, so. We'll continue this on Monday. That's right. Now I know how parents feel when they uh, have to wait for the kids at the dentist. I'm just sitting here with my water and a bird book. <laughs> There's these two pieces of composite yeah. that they were not properly bonded to the tooth. Yeah. So I just removed those ones. If you can't already tell, I tend to have a bit of a distrust in dentists, especially dentists back home, and it's for that exact reason. They just told us that Sarah's tooth had been done incorrectly and that there was like pieces that weren't even like bonded the right way or even just done properly at all. So it's nice to come to a place where they're actually just gonna redo the whole thing and do it the right way. We've even had a few conversations with the doctor here about the dentist back home. And we've had a lot of different situations back home where we felt like we were getting scammed. Like I was told once that I had to get all my wisdom teeth pulled out. I only had one wisdom tooth that was even like remotely an issue and I didn't even need to get it pulled out in the end. Uh, and I've also had it once where I've gone in and they told me that I had like, like a ridiculous amount of cavities. Like I'm no joke, they told me once that I had 16 different cavities <laughs> and the, the doctor just like laughed at me. <laughs> He's like, no, that's, that's not a thing. So it's nice to come to a place where we're not getting scammed and you would think that would be something that we can expect at home, but turns out we have to go to Mexico to do it. <laughs> Feeling good, eh, sir? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, how do you feel? How do I love? You look great. I feel fine. My jaw's a little sore. It's clamped open for a long time. Let's get out of the presso. I think I almost fell asleep there. Yeah, at one I know. Point. I was going to say, I saw your like, breathing change and like your eyes are closed. When he was feeling it in, I was like, those, like oh. I saw you do one of those like sleeping jolts. Yeah, I was like, oh no, I got to stay awake. <laughs> I've never had that at the dentist before. Yeah. Okay, let's see that smile one more time. Wow. <laughs> well. That is legit the best dentist I've ever been to. He was so patient, so kind, and just so explanatory. Like he was showing me all the tools he was using. He was taking photos of the whole like journey and showing me what was happening, what he was doing, what he was adding, and like explaining the basis behind it, not just doing it. It was honestly so great. And oh yeah, my face is a little bit frozen. Can you see? <laughs> 
but I really hope this is the end of dealing with this tooth because I've honestly had issues with this tooth for like years. Like in high school, I had a filling, then the filling fell out when I was in university, so I got it replaced. Then at some point my tooth had cracked horizontally when I was in university because I grind my teeth, I guess. And so they just decided to like shave it down to the level at which it had cracked horizontally to make sure it didn't like progress any further. But I've always thought it was kind of weird that that tooth has just been shorter and like really flat and kind of sharp on the edges. Then like three years ago, right before we started traveling, I had to get a root canal in there. And then that took a really long time because it was super infected. So this tooth has just been a journey. But essentially what he's doing is he just cleared out the whole filling and all the composite stuff that was in there. He said my root canal looks really good. So that's, I'm really happy with that. But essentially he's now making a mold to kind of rebuild the tooth to the proper size because he said, I've been biting down on this tooth. And eventually what would happen is because the edges, the walls are so thin and it's a different height, there's like so much more pressure on these thin walls. So he's saying if I end up biting on something, it's potentially could just like crack one day. So he's gonna rebuild it so that when I chew on that tooth, it kind of like spreads the, I don't know, spreads the pressure throughout the tooth instead of just like in one small area of the edges. So yeah, I've been really happy. He's been great. And now I just have to return in a few days to get the little mold thing put in there. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so we're back at the dentist. I've got my little mold. Do you call it a mold? It's an overlay. An overlay. overlay, okay. We've got my little overlay for my tooth. You can see it here. And so he's just gonna now secure that to my other piece of the tooth. And then it'll look super natural. Look at it, it even has the stains and everything. Awesome. Hopefully the last time. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, so we wanna say thank you so much. A special thank you to uh, Dr. Anibal. This has been a very great experience for us. I would say overall, I feel like I learned a lot more about dentistry than I thought, than I definitely would have at home. Um, I think the only question we have is, what do you say to somebody who's looking into getting like some dental work done in Mexico? Uh, well, the thing that I will look forward to is getting work, uh, getting work done by someone that is a specialist. Right. Uh, because uh, it's not that the, a general dentist cannot do like a high level work, but if you can get to a person who does exactly what he's doing, by my case, I'm a restorative dentistry yeah. specialist, so I only do that. There are people that do root canals, they're orthodontists, uh, and they're not even the field or expertise, yeah. so there's when the problem comes. Yeah. So, what do you say? so finding a specialist is key. Yeah. Finding For someone sure. who specializes. And, and in, first of all, yeah. uh, asking um, their opinion about yeah. uh, what they think is, is the best because uh, there's this kind of um, bad, uh, how can I say it? Bad reputation that yeah. patient came in here and they just waste the money. Right. You can get in touch with the patient, ask for they need. Right. It's gonna be so much better for yeah, absolutely. Well, so because you have to be in the same channel with the patient. Yeah. So everything's gonna be happy at the end. Okay. Yeah. Well, I like that. That sounds good. Great. Thanks so much. You're really welcome. appreciate it. This was a great experience. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna wait for the bike. You don't. Uh, I want. Spare your arms down. You look like a little. A hobbit? No, a child. Like with your hands behind your Thank back. Thank you. Ready to walk to school. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm restarting. Good, how are you? Fine, thank you. That's great. Welcome. Yeah, thanks. I'm just gonna, I have our camera outside, so we're just gonna. 